Hello. Is anyone there? This is Grim Grinner on all channels. Infected attacks rampant in the GAT. The government failed. Unified in the corporation. Have a safe day. Desolation. An endless wasteland. Nothing but sad. Searching for a shred of a Welcome to the waste. Afternoon, Wasteland. Grim Grinner here on all channels. Finally back in the bunker after such a long trek to see the Tinkerer. Of course, with Scrapper traveling alongside me and taking some small detours, I knew this return trip would be a bit longer than expected. I've been radio silent for far too long, so I'm transmitting out with some updates and news I've picked up in my travels while Scrapper charges and while I prepare to head towards Burblag to check on things. It's been a hot minute since I've been to visit, and it'll be good to check in with the folks there. I guess I'll start with what took me so much longer. After everything with the Tinkerer and getting Scrapper, my lovely new robo-buddy slash remote radio relay slash extra storage for scraps and stuff, I was feeling a bit rambunctious and rebellious. And what better way to let off some steam than to taunt and terrorize some creeps. Luckily, I didn't have to look long and found the perfect mark. Just a car with a driver and a single elite making tracks back into Corp territory. Not sure what had them in such a rush, or why they had so few of them, but I'm not going to say no to one gun instead of five. I trailed them for a bit, and they made camp at a pretty shiny little corporate outpost. Low security, no extra squads in sight. I'm not stupid, I wasn't about to just go in there and try and dust these two, but I did decide to test out some of Scrapper's newer functions that we were able to program in, just to have some fun. Namely... The fact that he still had some of the access codes to their radio equipment. First, I did a listen in, and it turns out that this elite had a bit of a not so pleasant interaction with Cola Chris over at the cap stash. They were trying to sort out regrouping to go and try and start problems. Not on my watch. So, while the creeps were inside, I took the chance to hardwire Scrapper into their transmission systems. That way, I could have a bit of fun messing with them. You see, when we were putting together Scrapper, I took it upon myself to acquire a voice modulator from an old Elite mask. Figured out a way to jury-rig it to a small mic for transmitting, just in case, you know, I needed to fake my way out of any bad situations, or, in this instance, fuck around a bit. So, these two start trying to contact their backup, who are stationed at another outpost, much closer to the GAT. Instead, they get me, disguised as another agent, claiming an attack was made on that outpost they were trying to contact. Order them to stay put, to not aggravate tensions with outposts outside of territory. I also put the fear of death into them by mentioning that uh, Agent Zeta would be requiring a full report as to why they were out there. From what I've heard of this elite, the others are afraid of them, so I'm sure that lit a small fire into their ass. After I took some extra time to listen to those idiots for a while, just to make sure they were good little faceless drones, I capped it all off by damaging a couple of their tires, just for good measure. I also made sure to tag the site with a courier mark, as well as left another marker a few clicks out. So, if anyone is feeling bold enough to raid a small outpost with what looks like minimal security, look for the markers out near the northwestern edge of corporate borders. After that, I made my way through a couple of friendlier camps and outposts just to kind of get some supplies, pick up on any news, and I'll I'll do my best to read my own kind of scratchy writing to report some of those to you, Wasteland. I did swing by one camp that had apparently had dealings with some scattered members of the jury, and quite recently at that. They're still boasting that our dear old judge is still going to sentence the denizens of the waste and that time is coming. Other than that, not much has been heard from the courthouse he's been holed up in, so I don't know what to think. Honestly, there's almost a small part of me that misses the threat that any call I can respond to could be one of his traps. Especially when there's others like that weird gang maker that's nabbed me in some twisted, like, kids games turned evil. At least I know the judge wants me dead. In any case, I'd still be careful anywhere near the courthouse. It has been marked on some of the major outpost maps, 
So if you're traveling anywhere between corporate territory and River's End, make sure to check in somewhere and mark it for yourself so you don't come across any of them. Switching from one mag cult to another, I've also got word that the Order of the Cataclysm has finally set up an unfortunate base of operations. Now just outside of River's End, just to the north in an old prison. Previously, they had been camped near the settlement trying to convert people, but when that didn't take, they decided to move on. Now, it does really feel fitting that they've locked themselves away in a prison. I hope they stay there, because from what I've heard of their ideals, I don't think they belong in any part of the waste, let alone anywhere near here. Not sure if this could be related, but I do have a slightly more ambiguous update regarding some interesting notes I've been hearing about popping up at some of the bigger outposts, all looking for old world tech. I'm not getting any bad vibes off of them, but the fact that they've been cropping up with increasing frequency the past few months should mean something. I I don't really have much. I know that I'm going to be looking into this over the next few weeks for sure. God, I wish I could end this broadcast on that note, Wasteland. I really do. But I do have some concerning news from a few different camps and outposts in the region regarding what's now being referred to as static rates. Now, I am fairly certain I commented on this a while back, but these feral-like creatures have been showing up more and more, and I'm really not sure why. River's End and Falls Edge seem to be pretty safe, but a lot of settlements and camp near water sources, especially anywhere near the static lakes, have been packing up and moving more inland to get away from these things. I still don't know what's been causing them, whether they're ferals that just went in the water and mutated, or if there's something else going on, or if it's something from the corporations. Like, they don't act like ferals. Like, they, they all seem pretty calm until approached, and that's when they move really fast, attacking anyone who gets too close. Their victims are usually dragged off, I'm assuming, into the water, but I really can't be sure for certain, since a lot of the people talking about this are the ones that ran fast enough to get away, and didn't really find out what happened to their friends. I guess my point is to stay away from any of the static lakes, and if you absolutely need to, keep a close eye around you to make sure something doesn't supremely fuck you up. Well, that's a bitter note to end a transmission on. Fuck. Uh, okay, let's end on a happy note, shall we? Fuck, one second, I, I thought I saw something. Shit. Fuck. Oh, here we go. Okay, something bright to leave you with. Um, the Rosa Road and the Bakery are joining forces in kind of a new venture to help keep some fresh food as well as clean and caffeinated drinks circulating out there. They're going to be working with some former Phoenix Express couriers to make runs from both outposts with supplies and sustenance to various other outposts and settlements. The hope with this is to almost... I don't know, kind of start having small versions of what in the old world were just called cafes with baked goods, coffee, purified water, other stuff like that available. No word on if they've got a name for what these kind of outpost within an outpost things are going to be called, but they are trying to keep in contact and we could start seeing these supplies reaching outposts in the next few months. I mean... I love our check-ins, but it almost might be nice to get some of the roaster's blends when I'm on a courier or supply run and not have to make my way over to the roasted road. <sighs> there we go. Something happier and not as depressing as cults and critters. Guess I should stop transmitting while I'm ahead then. This has been Grim Grinner on all channels. See you in the waste. Welcome to The Waste is a Wasteland podcast brought to you by Edward Grim Grinner Hutchinson, but made possible by Wastelanders like you. If you'd like to support the show in a fun way or get some merch, 
check me out on Patreon or on Etsy. The links to both of those, as well as all my social media, can be found at linktree.com slash welcometothewastes. See you in the wastes.